Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome to Animus, the draft building card game. Alright guys, we are back for another episode of the Animus uh, game. Uh, we're going to be playtesting the Nemesis uh, variant and uh, we're not going to go into too much explanation. We're going to just try to jump in. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, select our Nemesis. Now, um, because we already played against uh, Winter Echo last time, uh, I made sure that she's not in the pool of the ones that are going to come out. So we're going to shuffle these up and we're going to draw one randomly. And it is Lix Tex Tetrax. We'll take a look at that in a second here. Uh, Lix Tetrax is a dark angel. Reaction, when any minion comes into play on the same battlefield, the active player must remove one damage from one minion on their battlefield. So again, a battlefield is just, um, you know, my own individual play area. Purple over here has their own play area and blue has over here. And uh, as you can see, I'm sitting in a different seat. I'm sitting in the green seat here just for a change of pace, but there's really no difference. All right, we're gonna choose our entities. Uh, the one we played last time was Fallen Angel. Uh, so we're just gonna we made sure we pulled her out I just want to try different things so we're gonna shuffle these up and we're gonna draw uh, two random ones and uh, make our choice so we have the unspeakable entity remove the screen here the unspeakable entity entity after one of your cards is killed place one damage on the card that killed it that could be good to counteract the healing she's doing although her healing is gonna be a lot more than ours um, and then we have Omenti here, which is uh, the big brain uh, time character. During your turn, you may reset two cards instead of one in any order. Um, that's very useful in that it'll help us uh, cycle through our deck um, rather quickly um, to get to the cards we, that we need. Um, I don't know that that particularly helps us. I think we're going to need some help with the... With the damage so let's go ahead and just go with uh unspeakable entity uh if our cards die we at least get a parting shot against our enemy All right, and then we'll go ahead and uh put this with the rest over there flip flip correctly all right um we've already um got the nine cards for the nemesis deck uh they are random i didn't shuffle them yet though uh so uh actually uh now that i think about it i don't think i shuffled any of them so let's uh, go ahead and just put everything back here We'll shuffle it all up and then we'll uh, split it into even fours. That's what I should have done last time instead of the awkward way I did it. We'll flip these around and then we'll go. We're just going to put them here and we'll use this as a discard over here. Yes, this is uh, flipped the other way, but that's because of where we're sitting. It's fine. All right. Uh, we'll make sure this is shuffled and let's go into drafting our cards. Uh, so we'll draft our first three. And I think we want to prioritize uh, damage dealing. Uh, there's Brick who we had last time. Uh, there's Fade, Fade Black Raven. This card does two damage if it rolls a six on the combat die and wins. Um, we want extra damage, but that one's kind of unreliable. And then we have Raikou and Karita. While this card is, is in melee position, your other cards cannot be attacked. Um, that could be really good. Mm. What to do here? What to do here? Our cards are going to be dying. Uh, Brick is such a good card. It's kind of hard to leave out. Um, Raikou and Karita are a little bit better if they uh, can get some um, healing support. I mean, we can draft some. Um, although I like uh, Fade, the, the ability to do some extra damage, I think we're going to need. Let's go with that. And he's a who'll be our blue melee character. Uh, right on Creed is good, but I don't I don't know that uh, they're gonna be super important. So, uh, well, we'll go with it. All right, next three. Uh, we have uh, Sam, who we've seen uh, the value of uh, before. Very wicked. Place one damage on all cards in play. This could be interesting if we play it right, but I'm gonna. This is the one reason we may not want to, um, a human character against the nemesis tends to keep their cards in play easier. So this card could really hurt us more than hurting um, uh, the enemy. But maybe we can play around that. And Juvia, um, she could be interesting because she can keep damaging herself to do damage to the enemy. And then we can spend the last one to kill herself. And then, uh, oh, that won't work. After one of your cards, place one damage on the card that killed it. So that doesn't help um 
do we dare go with Varia? We'd have to play around it. Well, for sake of doing things different, let's go ahead and pick her in, and she'll be on one of our uh, green. Well, there, there's actually a name for that. Green cards are talent cards. Blue are skill cards. Doesn't really mean anything. It's just to differentiate uh, what they are. All right. Uh, hard passing up on Sam there. But um, let's see if, if we can just out damage uh, the opponent here. Uh, Blaze is really good, adding plus one to all our rolls for a turn. Uh, Jace doesn't take damage in if there's a tie, which is nice. And then there's Grimblade here. This card deals one extra damage in combat if the combat totals are equal. Um, just like Fade, he's just banking on getting... T no, Fade doesn't want ties. Fade wants critical hits. Um, this guy's looking for ties. Um... Well, I'm not enthused by any of these. I mean, they're good cards. Um, but I think I want to go with Blade, Grimblade for the... Um, the thing with Blaze is that Blaze, even though it's just a plus one, that really makes it very likely that we'll, we'll uh, uh, win the combat. And we don't have a green melee card, but there's better ones. So we'll go with Grimblade here. He'll be our power, red is power type. Uh, and he'll be our red pow uh, power melee character. All right. Next. And then again, we're drafting nine cards. Uh, we have Sasha Darkwood here, which is remove one damage from all cards in play, uh, which we could use. There's Neutrino, uh, who I really would like to pick since I didn't get to get him last time. But I think Solar is going to be the one we're going to need here to... Um, uh, we need to match up some of the healing uh, that we're going to be facing because she basically heals when enemy because it's a bad idea, the active player. I mean, she's essentially going to heal once per turn for free. Um, and Sasha is bad because it heals all. So we probably don't want that. So it's between Neutrino and Solar. Uh, Neutrino is blue. T I mean, they're both fit a niche, except Neutrino only saves himself. Whereas Solar will help others. I think we're gonna need that. I think we need a little bit of longevity. So he'll be um, our second ranged. Uh, so the next green card we get needs to be good at melee. All right, we'll, we'll pass on these other two. I really like Neutrino, it's a really good card. Uh, all right, let's draw our next three. Uh, we have Whisper here. Select two cards and play control by one player. Remove one damage from one to the other. I think that's going to really be good for this match. But what do we got here? will wisp lets us uh, play an extra card. Uh, so it's a good tempo. But she herself is not very strong. And Ra here, when he's about to die, he would do extra damage. But he's a power type of that's a, a more a specialist in melee. And we already have one. So I'm not inclined to pick him. I think Whisper is the one to go here. And she's a 3-3, which makes her good in any position. So I think... Uh, I think that's that's the pick right there. All right, and the rest of these go away. Let's go with our next three. We've got what three more picks to go? Uh, all right, we've seen all of these last time. Project sixteen will instantly kill something. She will fill our niche of green melee. Um, we need we do need a melee. Um, I mean a range power type. And Tenley, we can take or leave. Oh, they, these are all... I can see a use for all of them for this matchup. Um, but I don't think I want to pass up. The other card we might find is the Rad Alexian, but we, he may not ever come up in the draft. Um, and see, we have two, ra uh, two ranged power types. The likelihood of another one coming up is going to be slim. And I kind of would prefer to get the Rad Alexian if I can find him. Because um, Project 16 sacrificing yourself won't work. doesn't do anything with our entity. Um, and then out of Kent Tenley and Dark Assassin, I'd rather have Dark Assassin for the uh, chance at getting uh, some extra damage. So uh, we're going to have to go with that. Mm, yeah, 
He's just a really good card, although Project 16, again, is really good. And we do want to keep our point totals low because uh, we may be losing a lot of cards here. All right. Uh, next set. Ooh, Lixir is really good. Um, but uh, we got Dark Moon here, which I don't see helping us here. Inertia. I think might be the better one here. Inertia, when we reset her, select two cards and play control by one player and move one damage from one to the other. Um, this will let us... So the good thing about that is that will let us use it offensively or defensively. We can move damage from a character that's about to die and save him or add damage to a guy that we want to kill. Um, we... I kind of really want Lixia because she's just really good to heal, but uh, Nersha does almost does something almost as good, um, but gives us a slightly uh, better offense ability. So uh, we'll go ahead and take Inertia. Uh, that is just a really good card to pass up. I mean, Lixia is, is too, but we can't get both. So, all right, we are down to our last draft, and we need a green melee. Oh no, we got one more. We got two more. Two more. Two more picks. All right. Uh, power, power. Uh, Krizia here. Ongoing. This card can only be attacked once per turn. Well, we don't want a blue card because we already have three blue cards. So we have to take a red card here. I don't want to take Jake because um, he's melee and we already have a melee power. Um, Ninian is scary, but we might need her extra damage. So, um, let, let's go for it. Um, she tends to be really hard to use in um, a multiplayer just because her damage hits so many cards. Uh, and then we'll pass up on everybody else here. And then this is our last one. Now we need, we need the green. I'll take any green, but we need green melee. And well, we got Fizz, which can attack from the back row from support. Um, uh, Savage is a power type that's uh, uh, melee. Uh, when this card receives damage in combat, you may perform that combat an additional time, which is neat. Um, we can keep pushing attacks. Um, but Mythia seems the clear one here. She's a 3 3, so we can use her just by any situation. And look at a player's hand, choose a card and reset it. So we can really plan. Um, uh, what we're gonna do with the you know we can do I mean we can do that for to ourselves and uh, well no we don't want to do that to ourselves uh, basically we'll do it to the opponent and see what he's got coming all right so that is our deck let's get these cards put them away oops didn't flip it all right put those away all right we got our nine cards and Let's hope this is good. Oops, I need to group it. Flip it. That's not the flip. Shuffle. And put it in our discard pile over here. I actually like the graphic on there. Pretty neat. All right. Oops. All right, we're going to do that. And we draw our hand. Uh, starting hand is their setup is draw four cards and then we reset one. Uh, so what do we got here? Um, Fade is a good, a decent starter. Dark Assassin is a good follow up. And Varia, so blue, red, green. Whisper. Um, we're probably not going to use her anytime soon. So Whisper is probably the one we leave out here. All right. Um, that is it. All right. Nemesis takes the first turn. I believe we've shuffled this. So, uh, plays top card and technically this happens. A minion comes into play on the same battlefield, but there's nothing to uh, remove damage from. All right. A summoner. Oh, this is terrible. Play. Play the top card of the Nemesis deck. All right. He's getting a big tempo on us and it's going to play it here. Uh, it is a swashbuckler. When he dies, each player must place one damage on one of their cards in play. Mm, all right, all right. All right, well, he played it. Uh, technically, they can attack, but there is nothing to attack. Uh, so they end their turn, and it goes to me. So we got a, a talent type and a power type. Um, if we put fade, 
the summoner has advantage against him um but the swashbuckler doesn't but the swashbuckler has a better range where fade doesn't so that's that's not great if we put the dark assassin what happens then he has advantage against the summoner um and the swashbuckler doesn't have that great of an attack well it's it's an even type or we just put Varya out there we might just hang Varya out to dry here um she's a two for not not too great against the summoner and very not good against a, a swashbuckler but maybe this is the time to do it because when she dies maybe we just let her die um if she dies she blows up and our entity will let her do some damage um yeah might as well put her out before we have any other cards i mean don't know that that's the best move but um now the question is do we attack she can attack either one of these um again if i attack the summoner there's no type advantage but he has one more point um attacking this way that one would have advantage and um well essentially we could make sure well even if we do a damage even if we do a damage the end Lix is going to heal it on her next turn so it'll be almost wasted so the only benefit of attacking right now is if we want the damage on varia and maybe we do maybe we want it to die before we even play another card um these are both worth one so neither one is better than the other they've already done the bad thing they're gonna do um well what would be the follow-up out of the ones we have here um i guess i would want to kill the summoner first uh which is green uh so i would put dark assassin next um so okay uh, Varya will try to attack the summoner. There is no type advantage. Uh, like before, red will always be for the nemesis, blue will be for me, and black would be for advantage. So let's roll the dice. And the summoner got a, uh, what's that, 3, 4, 5, and I got a 2, 3. So I lose the battle, but I was counting on that. And that is my turn and i'm not going to reset anything i'm gonna keep these two cards they're they're well does fade help me fade will be useful when the swashbuckler if we can get the swashbuckler into melee so we'll keep him and we'll refill our hand draw one and there's grimblade uh he can help against the summoner too so let's see here hopefully uh hopefully they kill varia and she will blow up and on them all right uh, we will well there's no we first we check for start of turn no start of turn things play a card uh, a mountain oh my god there's a mountain shot start of turn remove one damage from this card Oof, that is a terrible combo I don't think we can take that guy out he's essentially gonna be healing twice a turn well maybe not because we can choose we can choose where the healing comes from so but it's still gonna be tough but he's three points so all right now the summoner will attack now that he's in since he's in range position that's also good for us summoner will attack uh no type advantage so we just roll the dice uh if we if we move this i imagine it falls there so yeah so he gets a six uh versus my one so that's definitely a kill all right and then the swashbuckler will attack she has advantage all right so let's roll these that was a not good roll however uh she got a 10 and the swashbuckler got uh always takes the higher one so a nine i did not want to win that but i didn't, I didn't have a you know um, at the mercy of the die there so the swashbuckler uh, takes the damage there and then the mountain giant has to attack um and she has advantage against him so my plan is not working out the way i want it here um all right the row i should win this there's almost no way he can uh he gets a six i have that more, more than that on the die so all right well the giant takes a damage 
and then it goes over to my turn. Hmm. Well, what do we want to do here? Do I play a card? I could just try to su maybe I suicide her and then play a card afterwards. Who would I play? I would play maybe Grimblade because he's good against. Uh, well, they have all three colors, so nobody's gonna be good against everybody. So I would follow up with probably Grimblade or, or Fade. It kind of doesn't matter. Other than I guess I want to kill the Swashbuckler. I really want to kill the Mountain Giant, if anything. If the something, no, okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Um, I think we're gonna wait on playing something. We are missing out on an, on an attack, but I think we gotta play defensively right now. Um, and we want to try to get the extra damage from Vary here. All right. So, what's her? This is e she should lose to the swashbuckler, right? They're even, other than for the dice, and he, she has two dice, right? Yes. So, uh, Varia will attempt to attack the, hopefully unsuccessfully, the swashbuckler. All right, swashbuckler gets eight, uh, and only six over here. So Varia will die. Varia dies. Now, since um, so there's two simultaneous things going to happen here. There's this death trigger, and this is reacting, uh, although this one does say after. Okay. But when there's simultaneous effects, the player whose turn it is can choose the order to um, resolve them. But this does say after, um, so it, it's taken into account that. All right, so she dies. All right, let's do that. And that puts me at two points there. Uh, no good. But we're going to get to place... Um, uh, one damage on all cards in play. So, boom, boom, and boom. And then, uh, the unspeakable entity, after one of your cards is killed, place one damage on the card that killed it. So, we'll place one damage on Swashbuckler, which would kill it. Uh, oh, this works even better than I thought. And then death. Each player must place one damage on one of their cards in play. I don't have any cards in place, so good. All right, so this will go here. This I guess we'll make that the discard pile, and then they are at one. All right, one point. Uh, there's nothing to shift up. And then now I get to play a card. Um, so we know the Mountain Giant is going to heal on his turn. I think we use Lix's ability to heal the Summoner. Um... And hopefully open up the mountain giant for attacks, which means I want to get a range character. I want to get two range characters that are good against them there. Um, he's blue type. Well, we need our greens, which we didn't draw. Um, and I don't, I kind of don't want him to get into melee position. Hmm. Do we just put Grimblade anyway? Um, the Mountain Giant has advantage against them though. I don't think I want Dark Assassin. Dark Assassin does have advantage against Summoner. Um, you know what? I think that's the safer play. As much as I, I, I'd rather have Grimblade. Uh, let's go Dark Assassin, and of course my combat phase is over, so I don't get um, I don't get to attack with him. Um, but this should be fine because although he has a one point advantage, um, I have dice advantage. So, right, right. Okay, I shall end my turn. Am I going to reset any of these? I think I might now. Now, do I really need the gr do Grimblade? I almost certainly I'm, I'm going to need Fade. Just in case. Uh, hmm. Right, we need to cycle through our cards. Uh, I need to let go of one of these. Um, if I have to pick one, I'll stick with uh, Fade. 
I'm mostly worried about the giant, and Fade has a better chance against them. All right, and then I end my turn and draw two cards. All right, I, ooh, hmm, I got Ninian here. And Inertia. Ooh, okay, but it is the Nemesis' turn. All right, start of turn, there is an effect. He removes one damage from himself, so nothing we can do about that. And then she's going to play a card. Um, and in reaction, when any minion comes into play, we must uh, remove a thing. So I think we're just going to take it from the summoner. I really want to keep damage on them. And then the Berserker is reaction. When any player's card is placed into a discard pile, remove one damage from any minion in play. Man, she has got all the healing going on. <laughs> all right. Summoner attacks. Uh, he does that automatically. And... There's no choice about it, but um, our guy has advantage, right? Right. All right. Let's roll. Uh, I believe. Well, maybe not. Uh, six, seven, eight. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I won that match. That is good. Uh, the Berserker will attack next. He is only a two in range, and he is a green type, which my Dark Assassin has advantage against. So, yes. Now, I kind of don't want to get ties, but they would benefit me. Um, the Berserker has a four total, and I I beat that already with my base stat. So, uh, the Dark Assassin slashes the Berserker. And then the Mountain Giant will go. Now, he has advantage against uh, Dark Assassin, but it's a one versus four. So, that doesn't bode well for him. Uh, so, I got an eight, and the best he can do is three. So, I damage him back. That is very nice this is actually working out really good i actually am tempted to play ninian next here all right so it goes they're done with their turn it goes to my turn if i play ninian she plays one damage on all the cards in play it's only gonna hurt dark assassin for one which i could possibly heal later i know i have at least one healer um, and that damage would kill the mountain giant and put these two, um, on death's door. And then, and then both her and the dark assassin have advantage against the last two that are left. So that is probably the play here. Um, and otherwise the only other play I would do would be consider here is inertia just well actually i can still do inertia's move because that's just reset what am i thinking that's a reset so i don't have to play her to get that but i don't think we need to do that because i think just playing minion just uh takes care of everything so we will play minion what do we want to play her first we can actually go play either side um <laughs> Let me think for a second. If so, he's gonna die. He's just gonna die over there. When the summoner gets killed, um, the berserker will come up. But we probably want to kill the berserker first. We we're aiming to kill both of these. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm actually going to play him, play her. If I play her here, then I can switch them. Um, and then. She can finish off the summoner, and then the berserker will move up, and then the dark assassin will kill the berserker from over here. And then the last card that comes out, oh, it doesn't matter. So maybe over here is better just in case I screw this up. Yeah, so we'll play her there. We must resolve this first. Play, place one damage on all the cards in play. So let's get our lots of tokens out. And then we'll put a third one there, but we already know that he's dying. Uh, so we got rid of him. So that's that's a really good one. So that's, that brings him up to four. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. Now, after our play, uh, it's still our tactical phase. So we're going to switch uh, Ninian and Dark Assassin. And I think I'm going to attack with Dark Assassin over here. Because I don't want this Berserker to get up into melee. 
Um, so we'll flank attack him. Uh, a four versus two, and I have advantage. So uh, I should win that. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. All right, so he is defeated, and that is two more points in our favor. All right, all right, all right. We are doing good here. All right, and then Ninian hopefully will uh, uh, finish this off here. Uh, do I have type advantage? Yes, I do. And he only got a one, so a four, uh, and I got more than that. So she finishes off the... Did I? Uh, no, not, this guy's... I haven't been checking his ability. All right, summoner is dead. And that is another point. Wow, we got up to seven. We got through all that healing thanks to um, Ninian here and Varia, which is funny because... Uh, which one says it? Uh, in her, can we zoom this in? If you look at the flavor text, in her thirst for power, she often clashes with Ninian Pelinor, and their battles eradicate whole planets. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the thing. Um, hers doesn't mention that. Um, and you would think, well, they're they're not allies. Uh, why are they fighting each other? But the entities in this game can summon whoever they want, whether they're friends or not. And right now, they have to team up against a common enemy. Okay. Now, I still have a reset if I want to do it, but I not. Although I kind of really would like Dark Moon, uh, Dark Assassin, stay alive. But I think we're fine. I think we're fine here. We'll, uh, we're not. We're not gonna reset anything. We're not gonna reset anything. We'll just draw one card, and it's our healer. Good. All right. Uh, Nemesis goes. Uh, no start of turn effects. It plays a card. Gunslinger, this is a tough one. Uh, at the start of the turn, it's talking about the start of the Nemesis turn. Each player must choose one of their cards in play and place one damage on it. I'm glad I got rid of the giant. Having the giant and that at the same time would have been quite problematic. All right, she is a skill type, which is blue, and she is a four in melee, which is her best thing. All right, um, she attacks. Uh, she has advantage against Ninian, though. So, so no, no bueno right there. Um, but, um, so the nemesis always takes the higher of the two dice. So she's going to take the six. Oh, she still wins. I was thinking it was a tie because she's only a, 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 so a nine versus 10. All right. Ninian loses and takes the damage. If it was a tie, then dark assassin could have done her damage, but didn't work out. Um, all right, that is it for the nemesis. Uh, we have from from a strong start they had, we have rested control. All right, back to our turn. If we kill this gunslinger, that's game. That is game. So can we kill her this round? We need to do three damage. Not very likely. Uh, she is blue type, which uh, we need our greenies. Solar could heal our whole group. That might be the that might be what I do. Um, Fade doesn't really help out here. Um, see, the problem is here. Neither one of these want to attack the gunslinger because they'd have disadvantage. But maybe I'm fine. If I lost both of them, that's five. That puts me at seven. Even if I sacrifice both of these to kill her, that still wins me the game. Because uh, they'll get to deal damage after they die. So maybe it's worth taking the damage. Um, although if I play Solar, then I just heal them. Fade doesn't do anything for me in this situation. Inertia is not doing any favors for me right now either. So I guess Solar is the way to go. And we, we won't do no sacrifice plays. Remove a, to a total of two damage from cards in play. So we'll uh, do that. And I don't think I'm switching them because these guys are in their optimal position. And I think we just we take a chance and go with the attacks because even losing... Um, losing kind of plays into our game plan right so yeah all right ninian attacks three versus four um the opponent has advantage so we actually kind of want to lose this well not really 
but we'll take the chance anyway. All right, uh, the gunslinger wins that. Um, the dark assassin will attack. This this is probably not a great idea, but we'll we'll, we'll, we'll try it for science. Uh, the dark assassin gets a ten. Um, and two, five, six, seven. So the dark assassin gets the hit in, and then we'll go with Solar. Solar has, he does have advantage. All right, so let's roll. Although, uh, four, five, six. Can I tie that? No. Uh, no. All right. So that was a damage. All right, we're one shy. And we can't use inertia for it yet until he has another card. All right. Well, uh, that didn't work out. Eh, I mean, that wasn't terrible. Whatever. It, it, it was whatever. All right. Lix goes. She's going to start of turn. This happens. Each player must choose one of their cards in play and place one damage on it. Um, I'm going to put it on Ninian. Is that good? Or is that not good? Because I'm thinking if the gunslinger kills her with her attack, then the unspeakable entity will trigger. Let's, uh, this is this is a risk, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the chance. All right, that was the gunslinger's ability. Then the nemesis plays a card. I didn't flip it. Uh, the tinker, ooh, death. Place one damage on all players' cards in play. Uh, it is a power type. All right, gunslinger attacks. She has advantage. But there's a bunch of sixes here. Unfortunately, that's still not a tie. Um, so she wins against Ninian, which kills Ninian. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. I skipped something. Uh, when the Tinker came into play, Lix uh, um, triggered and healed her for one. I, I knew about that. But right now, uh, then she lost. Uh, so now this damage goes back on from Ninian dying. And then the unspeakable entity uh, takes revenge. But this puts us at five. All right. And then I have to choose somebody to move up. I could do, well, let's see if I put, no, I want to keep Solar back here. We'll put uh, Dark, we'll move Dark Assassin up. I want to keep Solar back because he has the best chance at taking out the Gunslinger there. All right. And then the Tinker will attack four versus four. Uh, they're the same type, so it is just uh, the luck of the the dice here. We don't, we don't need the black one. Ignore the black one, because I already have them all highlighted. Uh, Dark Assassin wins that. Ten versus uh, seven. Uh, so he pop, pops a damage there. But really, all, all we got to do is kill the Gunslinger, and we'll win. All right, that is their turn, and it goes to me. Did I not draw a card at the end of my turn before? I must have not. All right. We will do what? Uh, Mythia here can pretty much ensure that we're going to win. She is the green type, which is good against... Uh, so she is the talent type, which is good against skill. Right, right. Uh, well, for shits and giggles, we'll go ahead and put... Oh, actually, we win with I even playing a card. Inertia inertia kills her. Um, but let's let's play this, Mythia. Look at the top. Uh, look at a player's hand. Choose a card and reset it. Um, so if you're wondering, uh, what is the nemesis hand? Well, the... Uh, uh, says it on the back over here uh, can we zoom in uh, all the way at the bottom uh, the second from the bottom effects used against the nemesis that target a player's hand will cut the top three cards in the minions deck as the nemesis hand so just so we can see they only had three cards left so let's uh, just see what they had they had a warlock remove a number of damage from minions equal to the amount of cards in the nemesis discard pile which that would have been uh, um, a lot of healing more healing the artificer all players must reset their hands and draw the same amount of cards that wouldn't have hurt us too much and then a minstrel. This is a funny card. Play, remove one damage from all minions in play and place them on this card. Man, so she had all healing cards. Um, well, if we had the choice, we'd put the warlock last. 
Uh, no, probably the minstrel. Probably like this. Probably the warlock next, if anything. But anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So, uh, oh, we get we get to reset one of those cards. It doesn't matter. Screw it. Um, all right, then we will switch. Uh, we'll perform a switch here. Does attack the ability. So now, either one of these can do an attack and kill the gunslinger. But we have something so much better still in our tactical phase. We're going to reset inertia because we can do. Uh, one reset for free select two cards in play controlled by one player nemesis counts as a player and move one damage from one to the other so we'll move the damage from the tinker who we don't want to have damage because she blows up when she dies and we we'll put it on the gunslinger this is reset if I can get cards out of, uh, dice out of the way and I only have one card get out of the way All right, that goes in the knee and we move the damage over there killing the gunslinger And that is the last three points. Boom, boom, boom. Um, for those curious, uh, you still play out the turn because the points aren't checked to the end of the turn just in case uh, things change. Uh, she would move up and we could attack if we wanted to here, but there's no reason to. We can just simply say, all right, we end our turn and draw up our uh, next two cards. And then at the end of the turn is when we check five versus 10 that was our point total and we win with more players the point total is higher um and the players add up their um totals um whereas the nemesis still only has one so anyway that was it um we had a little bit of a rough start but then we quickly rested control and um i was really worried about not having enough healing um but we did we did get a lot of extra damage from Ninian, uh, who is uh, kind of the poster child for this game. And uh, her uh, favorite uh, person to hate, uh, <laughs> uh, Varia Wicca. So those two cards really uh, 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 saved, saved me here. Uh, all right. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, please, uh, if I made any mistakes, point them out. Any critiques, I look forward to them. Um, if you want to support the game, please visit www.animuscardgame.com. And uh, by signing up there with your email for free, you will get a free PDF of the game. And remember, you can play the game on Tabletop Simulator. There'll be a link in the description, but you can search for it and find it there. Although you won't be able to play this version of it because only the two-player version is available. This is just a play test version so anyway that'll be it for now guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon